Welcome back to Ken Let Go. Today we're going to take a look at these three vocabulary words and identify which one is the actual phase change. Um, well, if we look at the three things, and it's easy to mistake all three of these as the phase change to go from liquid to gas. But if we take a look at it a little bit more closely, boiling okay, is when the vapor pressure of a liquid has surpassed the actual atmospheric pressure that's pushing down on it. So if you remember from our vid, uh, from our, one of our demonstrations, I had a vacuum pump, okay, that we put a beaker that had some water inside of it, and we evacuated all the air inside of it. And in fact, by evacuating all the air around it, that made the pressure of the vapor for the water much higher than the atmospheric pressure that was pushing down into it, which caused this to actually start to boil. So boiling is not a phase change because it's just the increase or the decrease of the atmospheric pressure around the, the liquid in order for the vapor pressure to overcome the atmospheric pressure and then start to turn into the gaseous state. Now, if we take a look at the next vocabulary word, evaporation, evaporation happens because particles on the surface of a liquid are exposed to wind particles that are moving a little bit faster. And at some point, what happens is at the surface of the liquid, these particles on the surface uh, get picked up by these wind particles as they're traveling through this way. And those particles move into the gaseous state. And because there is a sort of space that's opened up right about there where that particle had left, another water particle can come in here and take its place. Now note that there is no addition of energy in this case. I mean, we could talk about the uh, particles over here on the surface just turning into the gaseous state, but really there wasn't any energy added to any one of those particles. So, in essence, the true phase change from liquid to gas is vaporization. And the reason why is because energy was added to the system. All right, and that's it. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you in the next lecture.